Welcome back everyone. Let's jump straight into the match. This is uh, BC's Rock Guts. Nurgo. Um, we have 30k in pay cash. That's not enough to buy anything, so we're just going to hit OK. So yes, let's play Blood Bowl 2. Nurgo, Eternal League, BC's Rock Guts. I was born ready, Jump. Let's see what we can do this time. We need to win. If we want to win the league, we need to win both games now. There's two games of the league left. We don't need to, but to guarantee we win the league, we need to win both games. But we do have uh, some skills to reduce our turnovers now. The Haunted Requiem is our opponents today. I like how the ghouls have the helmets in their mouths. I know I said that last time, but I still like it. He sees rock guts. Right, that's enough of this. Right. Toy course. Don't expect to inflict long-term injuries. The undead are the kings of regeneration. Let's just move you as forward. Try and come to grips. Right, where's our star player? There he's there. Let's move you there like so. Actually, you know what? I'm kicking the ball. I don't need to worry about being deep at the moment. Right in the middle, because I don't have kick or anything like that. Changing weather, nice. So I eat absolutely nothing, because it was already nice. Turn one! Oh, they started off with their big guys up the back, eh? They're moving slowly towards the ball. I wish it had bounced over this side, because this is the side he's on. Don't dodge him, damn! No, don't dodge him, you know what I mean. Sick him! Sick him! Aww. Dodge is doing its job. Right, well. This is actually quite good. I can see. I'm going to try and get the ball carrier this turn. So to do that, the most important thing is to get this guy out of the way. Was there anything I want to do? First, we'll move you there first of all. Is there anything else I want to move beforehand that's not got no risk of a turnover? Not that I can see. So, first things first. Right, brilliant, he's down. And we're going to stay because I don't want to get in the road. And now, blitz the ball carrier. No, go there and blitz, you stupid game. So it's a two die block. Of course I want a two die, not a one die. Oh, he's got dodge. We're just going to follow him, kiss stick on him. Right, we're going to move you up there like so, in contact with him. Right, now, we're just going to try and eat them. Just a push, unfortunately. Follow. You. Head there to keep that zombie occupied. That zombie, that big guy occupied. You. Ah, I'm not going to waste a reroll. Not going to waste my reroll. It's not important. And it's not important I've got any other blocks on. Right, he's going to use him to push there to get this guy over here, it looks like. Damn him. Oh, he's got guards. Oh, wow. 
Seriously, he's gonna make a go for it? What's the agility on those things? Yeah, I thought so! Oh, what? No, no, wait. Oh, going for it's not affected by agility. Ah! Haha. -ha. Didn't get me down. And I'm still in contact with the ball carrier. Right, this is messy now. It's not as clean as I would have liked it. Still in contact with the ball carrier. Haha. -ha. Look at all those pants sitting down on the job. There'll be trouble with the unions if this carries on. It's a push. Right, this isn't that clean anymore. Oh, it's still? Way, rather than blocking Bob. No, Jim. Injured! The long term effect? I'm just gonna skip that then. Yeah, and he regenerates. Right, good, and they've used to reroll this turn. Right, stand you up. That's not risky. But here's the ball, the guy, and my star player. Be there like that, but do they still have guards? It's the does this guy. So I need this guy to go down. Brilliant. Push him away. Killed! Brilliant! The guard guy is out of there. Right, next, what's important is blitzing that ball carrier. Ah, oh, you've got to be joking me. Just a push. And there's no way I can get anyone else in contact. Do I do both down? Do I do both down? Yes, I do. Ah! Oh, no! I was just too slow. All right, I'll follow. Oh, you can move. Let's move you there. Oh, we not picked you up. Let's move you there, like so. Right, let's try and push this guy off the pitch over a couple of turns, or maybe not. Follow. Injury. Something. Right, let's move you up here so you can support next turn. Let's get you to eat. Both down. Eh, yeah, let's choose the both down. It's my last action. That wouldn't have happened in my day. Ah, actually no, I probably should have kept him up for the technical to keep that mammoth, that guy, from moving. Mistakes were made. Oh well. It was so clean that first turn. And I nearly had it. I can push him off next turn, that's gonna be Make simple enough. Off. Don't get hurt, don't get hurt, don't get hurt, don't get hurt. You've got to be... No, not my star player! Badly hurt, no long-term effects, I can't afford... That's my reroll gone as well! That's my reroll gone. Reminds me of the famous story of Nurgling and the Great... I just can't believe how unlucky I've been. No miracles. <laughs> Seriously, I can't believe that's my reroll gone. I've got a good. Does that guy have mighty blow? Oh, yeah, of course he does. He's a big guy. Hey! Aww. Oh. See how many turnovers they're saving thanks to their goddamn rerolls. I need rerolls. This is not looking that great anymore. Oh, this is looking very bad. I can't believe he's gone. Oh, what is going on? Really, don't let them. They're massive and can take your hand. Right. Just some form of injury, please. And into the crowd they go. I have basically no hope of winning this game at the moment. 
Should have done this guy first, uh, the health is really stupid. Because my sure hands is gone, my reroll is gone, everything's gone. Right, they're going to go for the touchdown this turn. Let's just try and injure. So we're going to blitz here, push him into that if he just gets pushed back. Which he does. Follow. That she's buffed down. I've got a good chance of hurting him, but no, next to no chance of hurting me. So let's do it. Nothing. Oh well. Now you can go for this touchdown. Go on, go get it. Actually, you may not even range this turn. Yeah, he is. Yes, yes. I know. That was quite the sprint. They dodged several potential tripping hazards to get that touchdown. Fast. If they keep doing that. Yeah, he's back. By the end of the second half. That team's a popper. Must have the magic sponge this time. Important thing. Got to keep possession of the ball, not lose. Strike back would be terrible. Da 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 da. -da. Just uh Let's confirm it that that'll do. Oh wait a minute, it's me receiving the ball. Yes! I've got a reroll! I've got a reroll! Some reason I thought I was defending again. Oh damn it, that's far away. Right. Stuff that's not gonna cause a turnover no matter what. Up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. This stuff is definitely not going to cause a turnover. Move right next to a teammate. Right. You're going to be protection for the ball Loose carrier. Ball is a dangerous ball. You're going to be protection for the ball carrier. Oh, it's just a simple matter of getting the ball at their feet. <laughs> it's never simple. I know it's never simple. But I have a reroll. I have a reroll. But I don't have sure hands. They picked up the ball. Yay! I should say something memorable or funny. Ah, really stupid. I should have moved someone beside them to reduce the odds. And uh, we'll end turn at that. <coughs> it's gonna be really hard to get an equalizer this turn, but I really this half I really need one. I really need one. I really wish he didn't have really stupid at the moment, that would be kinda helpful. By hanging out in cemeteries, you know you can build the body of an athlete yourself. That stands you up. Let's move you there. You there. You there. At least this guy's already got some SP. If he gets a touchdown, at least I'll have a second guy I can maybe get sure hands or something else on. And now what's important? Well, this guy going down is important. Pushing him that way is probably better. This player likes to be well assisted in a Lovely. Follow. Let's 
stunned. Let's move you there. You'll get an assist now. Let's see, can you come off really stupid? Yes, you can. To lay out an opponent of half his strength. Eh, follow. Keep all three of them under tentacle. Then we're just not going to use you. Just keep those two guys under tentacle. Right, lovely. Follow. Injury. Something. Killed. Better than nothing. A lot better than nothing. We've got a player advantage now. Just a push. Right. And it's my last thing. It does a f regeneration. Yeah, let's do both down. I'm not going to waste a reroll. Of course, I'm not going to choose a skull. He's stunned. I'm not. At least there's a small advantage there. Turnover! And it means that mummy's not going to be able to attack him to get out of technical range too, so that's not bad. Okay, they're going to use their blitz there. I'm happy with that. Just a push. They really think that Rotter is the biggest concern of theirs? Then... Ah, they wanted to free him up. Okay, I see where they were. Why did you thought that was important? I don't. Well, I don't agree. If that's all they're gonna do. They're turn this. All they're gonna do. Right. So obviously, most important is moving these guys up the pitch. I'm gonna move you first, actually. Move this guy there. Of this guy there. Ball is secure. And the other team's not going to pick you up because I don't want him pushing out of the way. Put you there. Just trying to definitely secure. Wow, he's slow. My balls. Pun not intended. He goes down. And, uh... No, we're not going to use him because I don't want to lose the tentacle. Does tentacle disappear? Thanks to really stupid. Let's actually check. It was really stupid. Really stupid. Uh, on a roll of one or three, they're trying to remember what they're meant to be doing and the actions wasted. The most player loses his tackle zone and may not catch and just had to pass. So he loses his tackle zone, and technical is just the opposing player attempts to dodge a leap out of his tackle zone. So if he doesn't have a tackle zone, he can't use technical. So we're not going to risk him losing his tackle zone, and then these guys being free to move. Well, I suppose they're probably, their agility anyway is really low, so having him there is just a pain. But at least they'll have to deal with him instead of thinking. And actually, I'm not going to do the same here. We're just going to leave it. I don't want to risk getting some form of skull. We'll just end turn. I can't afford anything slowing me down. I can't afford anything slowing me down. Just a push. Foul appearance. Uh, oh, he passed it. Damn it. Stunned. I'm okay with that. Have enough people over here to stop them escaping. My turn. Right. I just need to keep the ball carrier safe for one more turn. And then it's touchdown. Today would be nice. Keep your running. Create a cordon of people. Around. These two are gonna say, oh, he's gotta stay down. He's staying down. 
The big, only person that has any chance of reaching the ball carrier is this guy. That guy can touch him, but it'll be very risky. And this guy's the main threat. Even then, it's really low because he's tied up. And I think we're going to accept the both down. Oh, but that means this guy's... No, we're not going to waste... Uh, okay, we'll use the reroll. We're The turn, the game's basically over. Damn it! Okay, we're just going to do that. That means... I should have just done the both down. Because that leaves this guy open to come in this way. I should have stayed, actually. Oh, damn it, mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. And I wasted the reroll, but hopefully I won't need it. Oh, thank fudge, he's not going to be in contact with the ball carrier. And he's using his blitz over here. Oh, thank fudge for the stupid AI. In this case, the AI was incredibly stupid. They could have caused me some serious issues now. They needed to roll some dice, and my touchdown wouldn't have been guaranteed. And with the luck I've been having... Yeah. The suppleness of ghouls never ceases to amaze me. Turn eight. Only one thing I'm doing is this. The ball is in the air, and according to Knuckles' sacred text, we have a touchdown. Oh. oh! Must be extremely frustrating, don't you think? Da -da 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 -da. It'll up the stake ball as we go into the final quarter of the game. <sighs> Half time! One of their knocked outs come back. My star player is still just sitting there face down in the dirt. Which is unfortunate. Of these teams are on the edge. This kick is crucial. Scar some players back here, like so. Put you there. Let's uh, confirm the setup. Yes, hit your head with it. Well, That's what game. to do. Some say it's perfect for playing Blood Bowl in. I call it dumb. Okay, I'm back to having no rerolls though. And we're not going to move you because I want you to keep your tentacle. Tentacle, tentacle on them. Let's move you. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Picking up this ball was dangerous. Where am I going to want him to? So if he picks it up, that'll be one off his movement. I think we're going to push to this side this time. So, if I leave him there, move you there, I've got no reroll, there's almost a 50% chance I'm going to get a turnover here. So before I do anything, you move there. Okay. Brilliant! Not a turnover. Okay, now let's see what's important now. Most important is probably this guy goes down. Just dodged away, but oh well, it's better than nothing. Fall off. He's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. A halfling on a hot dinner. Next is probably this guy. Just a push again. Follow. This player, the attacker, smells it weakness. does. Yeah. Do that. Just a push. Right, follow to get both of them in contact. He's following up, hoping to get the knockdown next time. Down, brilliant. Finally a down. Follow. Kill something. Stunned. Oh well. Oh, we still have our blitz, don't we? I could blitz with him and then come back to defend the ball carrier. It's a wee bit risky, but it's a fun thing to do. Let's do it so. <laughs> it worked. If this causes an injury or something, 
Nothing. Ah. Oh well. Right. In turn. Those players are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. Not a wise place to end your turn on the border of the pitch. Yeah, but I don't see a way I'm going to get him off. Especially with that. That happened. It took three days to reach the yes! They're going to use a reroll? No, they're not. Lovely jubbly. Let's just stand him up. I can push him there, so we might get him off, actually. But first of all, what is important? Important is probably going to be you. Touch him. They've got a lot of players over here I do not like. He's calling some reinforcements. But he's not going to be able to start supporting Rui till next turn. Okay. That's a wee bit. Hmm. Let's try this blitz here again. Just a push. That's unfortunate. We'll follow though to keep him touching. That's, That's going to free up him to go after him. I could go after him. Then I can attack both. Then push both off next turn if I get good results. Oh, nice. Follow. Please be an injury or something. Nope. Well. Ah, I'm mucked up here though. I was going to. I can't push him there. I would have needed to have pushed him. Okay. Hopefully I'll get him down or something then. Yes! That way. Follow. Killed! Even better! Even better! Right, skip that. That's going to leave that a nice, tidy, wee, safe, secure area for him to go hide in. Let's do this. Just a push. The next turn I might be able to get both of these guys off. If I start there with him and then do him second, I'll have two two dice blocks. Oh, lovely. Away from the ball carrier. Follow. Dead! Yes! <laughs> that zombie's gonna turn into a rotter then. Oh, unless he regenerates. And that's SPP for him. Lovely, lovely. And I think that's going to be an end turn. Things are looking really good now. I'm really liking the position we're in. Is he going to dodge away? Nope. Is he going to dodge away? Please don't. I want to push you off the field next turn. Oh, he is though. I don't really care that much about that move. What is he going to do now? End his turn? I don't see much else he can do. Oh, he's going to try and escape. A push. No! Oh, well, at least I'll still be able to get this guy off unless he dodges away. Right, let's get these guys off the pitch. That is very important. Uh, stay. You know, a fence may solve Killed! And you know, to be honest, I did make a small mistake in doing that first. The first thing that should be done is this. And then providing some form of protection for the ball carrier. Now I can do this. Dodging again, we'll just stay again. The fans seem very rabbit. Leave a few bits of the draw. Right, okay. What's important now is he is going to move here. You're going to go and attack here. So next turn we can push that guy off. 
Woody stands up in a way. Uh, we want to leave Tentacle, keeping these guys in place. Don't really want to move or well, attack there in a second. Actually, that's the only thing really left to do is do this. Uh, do we want to push her both down? Do we want to push her both down? I've got good armor. So is he, pretty much. We'll just push. We'll follow. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. And that's all we're going to do. In turn. He stood up. Wow. He's going to dodge away and blitz here. Ah, I didn't realize that was a possibility. Both down, so turn over unless... Ah, yes, that's actually better for me. Because I can blitz him away next turn. There's no harm in making a block on the ball, Karen. Well, actually, you can do a lot of harm. <laughs> that's kind of the point. Yep, that is kind of the point. Right, most important thing is probably blitzing this guy. If I go there, I can push him there into contact with those two. Yep, I thought so. He's dodging the wee dodger. It's like peeling an onion. Remove the layers before you get to the good We're not going to go for the touchdown this turn because it's going to require a dice roll. But I do need to see if I can get him some form of protection. From this guy. Well, mainly this guy. That guy can't blitz because his following would go outside his movement range. That's impossible. But this guy is a threat. I'm going to use this guy because then I can push him to there and get a third chance to block him. If he doesn't go down. See, this is getting really risky. Good call. Intimidation is the key. I really need him to go down. Oh, even with three people. And I've just moved them closer. Ah, not good. But he's got a dodge from two tackle zones to get him. Oh, he's going to be able to move this guy over and get a two-die block as well. But I've got plenty of turns to try and pick up the ball. Plenty of turns. Oh, hello. I didn't know we had... I forgot you existed. Right. Let's push this guy off the pitch. No malloc will cause an injury here as well. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have followed. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Let's move you. Let's attack here. Just a stumble. And that'll free you outside of this tackle zone, so brilliant, you're usable again. You know what, that may be bad, because that may be what's holding them back from attacking. Ah oh, well, it doesn't really matter now. Fail your dodge, fail your dodge, fail your dodge. Right, he's just going for that. Oh, he may actually push me into the tackle's That's end zone. Place to be. Oh, he's going to push me into the... There he is! I got a touchdown in his turn. Ah, oh, brilliant. Boogie night. Party night. Wait how's that work with the turns then? Because it's going to be my turn and I'm going to kick the ball to them and then it'll be a bit like a blitz they simply have a better dock. or do I lose a turn they should replace that player before they lose any more they kick the ball to the opponents <coughs> it's time to think defensively how is this right, I have to kick the ball but then is it my turn or are they going to get two turns in a row how does this work now Snap. Ha <laughs> ha, disturbing presence made him fail his pickup. Right, it's his turn again. I lose a turn. Okay, that's how it happens. I lose a turn. At least I think that's what happens. Oh, and he wasted his reroll picking up the ball. Lovely. Ah, and he's only got one of his mummies in the middle. He's learning.
Right, I'm going to be able to blitz that ball carrier. I don't think I'm going to be able to get another touchdown, but I'm going to be able to guarantee he's not getting any more. Well, let's get in contact with the ball carrier. Unfortunately, not full blown. Getting him down, which would be nice. Right, anything else we can do that's not risky, first of all? Let's bring you over. Let's see. Uh, I feel like that's in someone's tackle zone somehow, but it's not. Let's bring you over. Let's throw you there so he's not outnumbered. Everyone else is in contact with somebody, so let's finally blitz here. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Brilliant, got him down. And follow. They can dislodge the ball. They're into the chance of turning this match on its head. And that's actually a really nice position for that ball to be in. Especially if I get this guy down, or at least away from it, that's better. Away from it's good enough. Hey, oh, you're free to move. Let's move you there. Oh! Tackle zone. That was actually really lucky. We've only got a jolty free. And... in turn. Right, we've got that ball pretty well protected. <coughs> the edge of the field there. Within grasping range of the fans, and they're looking hungry. Fortunately, he's going to push him out of the tackle zone, so that's going to free him up. Damn it. Let's move you there. So I can move you there. Or well, better odds of moving you there. So that way when he gets him, hopefully he'll knock him down next turn. And so then I can just leave him lying down. And he's never going to escape the tackle zone of this guy. Let's stand you up. Right, what's important now? Right, we've got to protect the ball. Let's start with this. And I have no rerolls, so buff down. He's killed though, I can live with that. And I've still got the ball well protected. I'd have right to have pushed him to there so he could have been pushed off the map next turn and to get some damage dealt here. But oh well. Oh, he's going to push me off the field now instead. If he follows, I might do the same to him, just oh, blitz and push him off the field. Nope. A man for a man, eh? I was hoping that, I was kind of hoping they'd push me into the ball. Oh, killed again. Nasty. Right, knock him down. Brilliant. So he's now not, not going to be able to escape the tackle zone. Both down, but he's got block. That frees up that mummy, which is a pain. Skull, haha, <laughs> is he gonna reroll? Yes, he is. Just a push. <clears throat> What's he gonna do? You there. You there. You there. They're not picking up this ball. I suppose it really matter now. It's my last turn and their last turn. But now they must grab it. Stand you up. Just really going for injuries now because it's the last turn. Ah, both down. Oh well. Injury? Oh, I got killed. 
Doesn't mean we can't finish on a few fatalities. Hang on, do you see that? Let's take a quick look at that player. Yes, the unmistakable sign of a player's eyes rolling up into his head. He'll be out for some time. Yes. Why is he bl Oh, so he can move afterwards. Okay. Injured. What's wrong with him? And decay has made it worse. Uh, do we not have an apothecary? No, we don't. I think we're just going to get rid of him then. We're just going to get rid of that guy that's injured because we've got a new one coming from that guy over there. Does he have any SPP actually? Let's check. This is what I care about right now. I don't care about what's going on over there. He has no SPP yet. Two touchdowns to one. Great game. Victory! Okay, let's take a look at stuff. We got a four! And we have enough money for a reroll! Some fan factor. Right, let's take a look at the leaderboards now. That Dark Elf team still doesn't have a single draw or loss. We're probably going to be going up against them next time, and we need to win. Day 5 out of 7. Oh. Oh, no. Today's day 5 out of 7. There's, oh, there's two more days still. Okay. So if we beat them, that'd be quite good. Right, let's close this. We're up against Elven Union next. Okay. Let's take a look at our team roster, though. Did we get that extra rotor? We did have one level up, this guy. And I want that reroll. But 12 players, we killed a guy, but we didn't get the rotor. Must be because he's already a zombie, he's already dead. So they must be immune to that. Should we get rid of this guy anyway? Do we have enough? Yeah, I've got enough money to replace him, so let's just go a bam. Yes, I want to fire this player. I want to hire a new rotor to replace him. Confirm purchases. X3 sponsoring the sport when you were playing, Bob? Well, polishing cream manufacturer? No. I got no idea where these guys came from. Let's level him up. Let's roll the dice. A 10. We can take an armor value or a movement allowance. I don't think we're going to go for either of them. I think what we're going to do is go for a second sure hand. Because if our main, if our pro player, <coughs> our leader player, not our pro, our, our star player gets down like last time and injured, we're going to need someone else to pick up the ball. Though a movement allowance, they, they're extremely expensive. Extra arms. Big hand. Big hand would be cool. But guard would be really cool as well, as well as block. Block would be very nice on them. No, we need to. We need the sure hands. What is it? What is in general? There we go. No more sure hands. We need it. We really need it. Right, that's everyone ranked up that we can. Apparently, we're getting close to rank up some other people. This guy needs one more. That guy needs one more. Players have to be careful though, as the highest prices are for limbs and other body parts. And the more obsessed collectors are not bothered about waiting for the target player to perish before harvesting them. Ooh. Right, anyway. Hoi Zavon enjoyed this. Join me next time for a game against the Elven Union. No big guy. I'm going to be hoping to kill lots of them. And it's going to be hard to stop them from touching down. Take a look at their team roster. They've got a one guy with guards. Another guy, is that pass? Accurate. 
That's one we're attempting to pass. Well, that guy's adds one to his dice roll. That guy always succeeds in passing, and he's got pass. I think a one always fails. That accurate is actually just completely useless on him, I think. Because I think, and normally in Warhammer games, ones always fail. And that's generally true of all dice games. So even with plus one, surely it can't be a one plus. Well, it seems like a waste anyway, because he's got pass, and he's got agility four. He's almost never going to fail a pass. Yes, apart from that, the team looks relatively squishy. Armor value seven, and an eight on their blitzers. Not bad. I think we're going to have a wee advantage here. The only thing they've really got is their... Well, when I'm, I'm talking about the blocking, because this is where I'm interested in, is the killing. We're going to have the killing. The killing, I've got a big advantage. <coughs> so yes, hope you've all enjoyed this. Join me all next time for the Elven Union. Bye-bye.